Right now, four incredible images coming out of the south suburb of Harvey. Storm damage includes not just trees, but rows of power lines down across the area. Our Regina Waldrop is live in Harvey, where a huge effort is underway to bring electricity back to those residents. Regina? Well, Rob, a big issue out here is that major transmission lines for ComEd, they are down all over this community. Now, I talked to the state rep who was out here today looking at some of the issues, and he says, without a doubt, Harvey needs to be declared a disaster area. There's a thing back there on both sides. Angela Dodd has lived in Harvey for more than 40 years. She says this community was already dealing with a lot of issues. Then, Monday storm happened. Nobody over here got power. And you see all these handicapped signs. A view from above from Sky 5 shows some of the destruction. Four days after the storm, some roads are still blocked. Traffic signals are out. Tree limbs are everywhere. ComEd says about 6,500 customers are still in the dark. State Representative Will Davis was out touring the city today. Should there be an emergency declaration here? I think there should be. I think there should be because not only when you talk about COVID and just the fact that you've got uh, some weather damage here, but Harvey is one of the most underserved communities in the entire state of Illinois. The mayor says the city needs special attention right now, and he's reached out to the county and state for help. We now have a significant amount of uh, staff out dealing with infrastructure issues, um, whether it's light issues, whether it's downed wire issues, whether it's tree cutting and removing trees and branches from our roads. ComEd crews have been working around the clock to get lines back up and power restored. We've been bringing in mutual assistance crews uh, throughout the week, many crews from the East Coast. The company's also been distributing flashlights. The hope is to have the power back on to all Harvey residents by this weekend. But it is going to take us, you know, in these, in these hardest hit areas, it's going to take us a little longer to get everybody up. So right now we have the Red Cross, Salvation Army, the County Emergency Management, all are out here this evening trying to help residents. Also happening at City Hall this evening, they will be giving away a thousand ready-to-go meals, uh, trying to help all the residents through this very difficult time. I'm live in Harvey this evening, Regina Waldrop, NBC5 News. Glad they're finally getting some help. Thank you, Regina.